In this video, I'll go over the steps to configure your Zemes to filter outbound messages. Please refer to our other video for configuring inbound. As of now, the outbound mail flow is the following. An email is composed by a user from Exchange. It then sends the message to outside. Once Zemes is configured for outbound, Exchange will instead send the message to Zemes. Next, Zemes will send the message out. The first step you need to do is configure your downstream server so that outgoing emails will be sent to Zemes. In Exchange, there is an option to route all outbound messages to Zemes. This is called a smart host. In order to configure this, you will need to modify Exchange's send connector. First, I access the Exchange control panel. Next, I go to the Mailflow option and go to the Send Connector. I click on Add a new Send Connector. I put Zemes as the name and I leave the type to Custom. Next, I modify the network. I select the Route Mail Through Smart Host. I specify the IP address where Zemes is running in this field. I don't need an authentication type here, so I skip this step. I'll need to create an address space. I click on Plus to add one. I set the type as SMTP and put star in the FQDN field. I then click on Save. The last step is to add my Exchange's server as the source server. I add the IP address of Exchange here and I click on Save. Next, I'll need to configure Zemes. I have to add Exchange's IP address in the relay list. I go under Server Configuration and click on SMTP Configuration. Next, I go to the Relay tab. I add the IP address of my Exchange server. This makes it so any emails coming from the IP address of Exchange is allowed to relay through Zemes. I go under Filter Management and click on Score Configuration. I ensure the option Bypass Relayed is checked. One last thing to configure is the Hello Banner. I go to Server Configuration and go to the Advanced tab. I make sure my Hello domain is specified in these two fields. This value should be the hostname of your PTR record. If you do not have this record, you will need to ask your ISP to add this, since they are the ones who own your IP address. Before sending a test message, I hover my mouse over Tools and click on Diagnostic Check Outbound. Specify your local domain here. As an example, your results should look something like this. Make sure the first three checks pass, since you need them in order to properly send outbound messages. As for the rest of the other checks, please see our documentation for configuring SPF, DCAM, and DMARC. Now that configuration is done on both Exchange and Zemes, let's try to send a test message. I open up my email client that connects to Exchange and send a test message. I see the email here. Notice Zemes indicates that this is an outgoing message. This status icon guarantees the email has been sent to the next hop. This concludes the video tutorial for configuring outbound. Please check our website or our YouTube channel for more videos.